Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity. Hello guys, welcome to the DMFUA channel. I'm called Gola Quincy and I'll be giving you the small knowledge I have about divine mercy and a DMFUA means divine mercy for us all today I'm just going to talk a little bit about divine mercy especially the non calics and the calics that don't know much about divine mercy as St. Faustina wrote in her diary Jesus said to her that this Salvation is the last one that has been given to us here on earth before he comes as a judge God. But now, guess what? He's the merciful God. So why don't we use that time and really beg for his mercy? We know we are not perfect. We are not really that good to so not always sin. But he has given us the opportunity to go and say, I'm sorry to him. To go and say, have mercy on us. And then you know what? This divine mercy is all about. It's not even to Jesus, but we're making use of Jesus. You understand? We're now begging that God, that God, because of your son's suffering, because of your son's passion, have mercy on us, forgive us. And imagine that you're really begging God for the real and the big reason why Jesus came here on earth. He's a human and he's a divine at the same time. He's two one so why don't we use that opportunity as i said before i'm begging for his mercy using his son he will never ever ever stop listening to you anybody that is out there that you feel depressed that you feel devastated that you feel as if everything is over stop thinking that way he loves you he loves each and every one of us divine mercy is not all about enjoyment it's all about sacrifice of time too. Let me see. You actually want to do something in that particular three o'clock because three or before that I'll come to three o'clock. Maybe today I will not talk about three o'clock. I'll talk about three o'clock maybe after tomorrow or tomorrow if I have time. But today I'm going to talk about divine mercy, like in the whole introduction of divine mercy. You know, there are particular times that you want to sit and reflect upon yourself. But there's a time that Jesus wants, 3 o'clock. That was his last time he closed his eyes. So, if you're having something important to do and then you sacrifice that time, it's really hurting you. But that's what it's called sacrifice, as I was saying. Guys, it's not easy to follow Christ. It has never been easy for you for me and for everybody even for the best sense ever even for the sense you for Saint Faustina it wasn't easy Saint Faustina sorry for not telling you but Saint Faustina is the patroness of divine mercy she is the one that Jesus uses so that divine mercy can be established in the whole world and guess what the Pope declared divine mercy Sunday but in 2000 the year I was born <laughs> sorry for that but I'm telling you that it's really important to know the the, 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 the the significance of divine mercy in this world. We really need divine mercy, you know. There are a lot of things that are happening. If we sit and decide upon ourselves that every three o'clock we're supposed to pray for this, we're supposed to pray for that, we're supposed to pray for this person, this particular person. And the wonderful thing is that if you want to know how the thing has been connected, is that the divine mercy is also good. Let me say it's also most especially for the dying. Imagine that the divine mercy is the forgiveness of the world and and it's also for the dying. You get it? You really see how the thing is being connected. It means as you're dying, you're asking forgiveness from God. As you're living, you're asking forgiveness from God. There are promises that you also have. We know when you pray the divine mercy, a lot of promises that Jesus made. The first one, let me tell you guys, maybe you've already heard about it, but for those that don't know divine mercy, the first one that you have that is really, really good is that he will not come as a judge God, but you come as a merciful father on the last day because you've been praying his divine love, you've been praying his divine mercy, you've been begging him for his mercy. And then, no enemy shall crush you. You understand the sentence? No enemy shall defeat you when you pray this divine mercy. I have this faith within me that if something bad happens to me, 
is because our God, my Creator, has allowed it to happen because there's a reason for that. But if He doesn't, nothing will happen to me. I have a strong faith and a feeling. I'm not saying that my faith is too strong because sometimes, you know, we're all human beings, we're imperfect, but I'm trying for perfection. So I will just tell myself that let me try all possible means to. To, 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 to have that faith, you know, put in my heart that nothing can happen to me if my creator doesn't allow it. And that's exactly what I have because of what divine mercy. I have that l that longing for him, for his mercy every day that passes by. Guys, divine mercy is really a wonderful thing. You have a, do you have a divine mercy Sunday, which is immediately after Easter? If you want to know the really connection between the Easter Sunday and the Divine Mercy Sunday, you are going to take out Father Chris. Father Chris has a wonderful tour, really good, guys. You have to go and check that out because they also give talks. He gives talks about Divine Mercy, the connection between uh, Mother Mary and Divine Mercy. So it's kind of it's kind of really 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 good. So let's check it out together. I hear some of his talks and it's really touch and it's really encouraging to love more his mercy. And I beg you, if Father Chris will see this video, I'm begging you, Father Chris, please answer to my email. A lot of questions I really want to ask. I really want that everybody to strive or to have that faith and to have that passion for divine mercy you know it's not only for one person that's the most important thing about this prayer divine mercy is not for you alone divine mercy is not for you alone it's for everybody you're praying for the whole world and then what did Jesus say in the Bible he said that when you pray for somebody you're praying for yourself what twice so imagine that you pray for the whole world not for two not for three but for the whole world and if you don't have faith that it will not work, do you want that it should work? It's like going to ask your father a bread and, you, and say, Daddy, please, I want bread. And you're in your mind, oh, my father will never give me bread. Why? Because you don't see him? Because you have a physical father that can give you bread and you see it and, hey, this is the bread. But the wonderful thing is that our father, our own creator, is out of time. So he can give you any time. Four days late. He can be four days late, three days late, two days late, but he's still on time. I know you will not be easy, but we'll let's try all possible ways to have that love for him and love for divine mercy. Tomorrow, please come tomorrow, maybe around 9 p.m. before that for the upload my new video talking about and for Stina. At least I have to go gradually. Well, as a divine mercy image, maybe I've not talked about that, I'm sorry. It's a very good image that Jesus appeared himself to send for Stina and said, paint me as you see me. And then this image should be venerated all over the world and that's exactly what is happening. Even some people venerate it but they don't still believe it and they don't still have faith in it. You know, how can it work? But that image, as you see, it has it goes far to the whole world. It's for everybody. And it's coming out from where? From his heart. Because he loves us deeply in his heart. You can't love him if you don't know the main reason why he died for us. If you know the reason that he died for us, you will love. Let's have the strong faith that divine mercy is for us all. It's not for Catholic. It's not for Protestants. It's not for non catholics or not for none, but it's for everybody. I've not really gone through all Divine Mercy, uh, the book, the diary, the first not diary, but the way I've gone, or the part which I have gone through, I haven't seen anything concerning, it's only for Calyx, it's only for this particular, it's for everybody. God loves everybody. Imagine one just have been working together, one just ships, they are working together, one go that way. Imagine that our God will leave the 99 and go and look for the one. And imagine yourself that is being you have been carried out by the things of the world. I lost my friend days back. And that gave me that impression that life, vanity upon vanity, you buy new clothes, will you take them? You buy new shoes, will you take them to where you are going to? You buy new houses, will you take them? You buy new cars, will you take them? Do you know what you will take? It's your soul. 
So why don't you arrange your soul, our soul? As I said, we are not perfect. But let's try to strive for perfection. So that you can even see, you know when you be Christ, even when there is suffering, you feel us to rejoice because you know you're not alone. That's all I'm going to say for now. But I'm begging you guys, I am pleading that at 3 o'clock, if you can't do it, the Divine Message Chapter, which I will talk maybe on Monday, just say for now, just say, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. At 3 p.m. And he said, anybody, I wanted to say this, but when I'm talking about the Divine Mercy are. But I will say it now. He said, anybody that asks me anything at that moment of mercy, that 3 p.m., he will grant it to them. So why don't we do it? Why don't we trust our God? Why don't we have that faith and beg him with faith? And ask with faith. Everything is being written on the Bible. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and you shall be opened unto you. Seek and you shall find. Why don't we seek, guys? Please, let's try a way. I'm not perfect. As you see, I'm seeing you in this YouTube. I'll try my possible means to talk more about divine mercy. Let's love it more. I'm telling you, be a good stay with me and with us. I want us to communicate. I will not ask you to subscribe, to like. All I just want you to do is to love yourself and subscribe to my information. I need that subscription within your life. That information be stuck within your life. I really talk more. I would love to talk more, but I would like to keep it this way so that you have that love to click my video. You know me, I don't like long videos. I know myself, I don't really love long videos. So there's some more that I can have or I can say. It should be manageable. Any questions you have, please, you just leave the comments below. This is for everybody, especially those that have been rejected, especially those that have been abused, that they are out there, especially children that they are really suffering. I wish I could help them from the bottom of my heart, but this is all I can do. I'm still, I'm still trying. I'm still going to school, and I have a lot of plans, and I hope my God should help me to execute my plans so that the world can become a better one. Thank you very much for listening, and... See you tomorrow. The DMFUA channel is always ready for answers. It's always ready for questions. You can also answer me because I have a lot of questions for you too. For the